When Genshin Impact first came out, I exclusively referred to it as the anime Breath of the Wild clone because, let's be honest, that's what they were going for. By now, though, Genshin has really blossomed into its own thing beyond being an aesthetic swap of a popular game, and it's so successful that other companies are now trying to clone Genshin in turn. Tower of Fantasy, Higen Ruthil, Wuthering Waves, these are just a few and probably mispronounced examples of games that's pretty clearly trying to get in on that tasty Genshin money. And I'm sick of them. Now, let me make it clear up front. I'm not saying these are bad games, and I'm not saying I hate them, and I'm not saying you're stinky if you like them. Hell, I really enjoy Tower of Fantasy, personally. But I am tired of Genshin and all its fascinatingly sci-fi flavored clones out there for two big reasons. Reason one, they all look the same. They do look nice, they have pretty art of the characters, and we've really figured out how to make anime look nice in a 3D game world. But I do wish they'd try harder to establish a distinct style for themselves. Their characters all feel the same. Same face shapes, same body types, same textures, same shaders. Things like Fire Emblem Engage, Project Sekai, and Persona 5 show us that you can make your game look like anime without just copy and pasting Genshin's models. And especially since this genre of game is getting mighty saturated these days, looking identical to everything else trying to push into Genshin's limelight isn't gonna make you stand out. And if you don't stand out enough to get a fan base, you're going under. You can copy Genshin's system of overflooding your game with gacha bait to bring in revenue without also making your character models identical to them. The second and more important reason I'm tired of Genshin clones is, please give me a game with a mostly male cast. Come on, what the fuck. They're always waifu games, where there's 67 girls on the roster with their unique hairstyles and personalities and outfits and titty sizes and thigh jiggle physics, and then there'll be four boys and they all look like their favorite flavor is butter. I'm so tired of these pretty games with their fancy shaders and graphics and their really nice character art with their fun gameplay that exclusively caters to an audience who's attracted to girls. Please give me a fun fan service game for me, a lady who likes boys. Fuck, that alone would be enough to help your game stand out from the crowd, cause we do exist, people who like men. We've always been here, playing games, trapped in waifu hell as we desperately just want to pull the one hot boy available, fuck you king! I spend all of my free time planning out how many crystals I need to save up to pull for gachas featuring the boys in Project Sakai. I'd be willing to spend as much as it takes to get the white day event cards, and this isn't even a problem exclusive to Genshin clones. Lots of other games, especially on mobile, assume that only people who like women want to play them. Even Project Sekai, one of my favorite games, suffers from a grossly lopsided cast in terms of gender ratio. So at the end of the day, that's really all there is to it. Make your Genshin clones look different from all the others, cause this is getting real boring to look at, and also please start making games where the majority of the characters are hot men. Please. I will buy it. People will spend money on it. You just have to actually give a fuck. You can't phone it in with a nothing story and dumpy visuals and then say, Oh, looks like no one will care if we make it, boys. Nuh-uh. You still have to put in the effort like how these games all have. Just turn them all into fellas. Okay, I'm sure I'm running out of footage of examples of boys in video games, so I'll wrap it up there. Adios.